name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I've got Teddy with me, and we're going to be working on his loose leash walking today. Now, a couple ground rules to set with loose leash walking is that we want the dogs on our left at all times. That's the heel position, and it's also going to be very imperative that we prevent him from sitting in the ground, that he's not pulling us, and that he's not dragging behind us. Now, before we start any walk, <laughs> I know, before we start any walk, what we're going to do is we're going to say the dog's name and then the command, which is let's go. So it's going to be Teddy, let's go. And I'm also taking on with my foot close to the dog. And the pattern that we're going to walk in today is actually going to be a figure eight. The reason why figure eight is so useful for walking is because you practice two kinds of turns. You practice a turn where the dog is on the outside of you, and you practice a turn where the dog is inside of you. And just to demonstrate, coming up, hey, Coming up, you see I just corrected him right there. I'm gonna make an inside turn. So when I turn, Teddy's on my inside. And so that forces him to learn how to decelerate and match my pace. Whereas the outside part of the gate teaches him to accelerate and match my pace. So you see I'm just gonna make that outside turn. Really good, he's matching my pace, he's not pulling ahead. And if Teddy were to pull ahead, I would just do what I did a little bit earlier. I would do a little bit earlier, which was I would back up and give him the chance to fix himself. Now we're doing that second inner turn. He's doing really good. He's got his focus on me. He's not trying to sit the ground. He's not trying to pull ahead of me. You see, he's getting a little ahead of me, but he's not by far not pulling at all, which is fantastic. Taking the last bigger turn, and instead of making that figure eight turn, I'm just going to walk straight towards the camera. Now, if we're coming to a stop, the proper way to stop with a dog is I'm going to get his attention to Teddy and take an extra step so that he has room to stop walking. That was really good. And the reason why we make that extra step is because we got, they got four legs, we got two, so it's very easy for us to stop suddenly. It takes dogs an extra step to stop, so that's why we give them that extra break room. But that was really good from Teddy. He wasn't pulling. Very good improvement compared to when he was much younger. But very pleased with this and of course the next step to this would be that we want to walk him outside we want to walk him with other dogs in much more distracting environments very good from teddy very pleased with how this is going hey.